Hey guys, I win Tom again. So now I want to teach you a little bit about Discord. So what is Discord? You may have noticed already that our forums don't get a lot of use. And the reason for it is we use what's called Discord. Discord is a third party app, but it acts as our chat group, forum, information, overload. It's really one of the best features of iWin, but you need to learn how to use it. And I also need to get you set up to use it. So once you become a member, let me share my screen. And note, I'm going to show you on my desktop, but later on, I'll also show you on uh, a phone as well. You can use Discord on either your laptop or your phone or both or your tablet or anything else. The biggest key is you only want one account and you want to make sure you log in with that same account information on each device that you intend to use Discord on. As long as you do that, all your information just stays the same and transfers. But if you don't, you'll end up creating a second account. You'll email me and say, hey, I can't find where I win is anymore. Odds are you have two accounts. So once you become a member of I win and you're logged in, you can go over here to the member FAQs. This is a good place to look in general anyways, but you'll scroll down to how do I join Discord? There'll be a little link, you can click on it, and it's going to take you to an actual spot in the form that has all the information on here. It's going to tell you about what Discord is, it's going to tell you how to join. But basically, you're going to create an account on the Discord app or at discord.com, and you're gonna send me an email requesting a link to join the iWin server. I will in turn then send you a link, once you click on that link, you're going to come here into Discord and it's going to give you a little welcome information. It's going to welcome you and then it's going to give you access to our rules and guidelines. Do me a favor, read them. They're very sim simple. <clears throat> You'll also want to make sure you email me your username on Discord because therefore I need to come in here and grant you access. Once I've granted you access, which I try and do as quick as possible, you'll have access to all these other channels that you see. Now think of Discord like a big house and I win is the house and there's lots of houses. Uh, Discord has millions and millions of servers on Discord. So you can join other servers for other topics. For example, uh, I have some fantasy sports um, servers that I belong to, but I win is just one of them. So I win's the house and in the house, there's different categories and each category is basically a different floor. And then on those floors are channels or rooms. Some of those rooms are kind of quiet. They're supposed to be non-chat meaning information only. Don't ask questions in those channels, please, because we're just trying to share information. A good example would be some of the keyword sweeps. We just share keywords in there. We don't ask questions about those sweeps. Once you're given access though, you'll have access to the read first. The read first will tell you pretty in depth about most of the channels we have on here. Now we adjust the channels from time to time or maybe a topic needs its own channel. So we create a new channel for it. Again, think of this like a big fancy form with lots of bells and whistles. You'll notice there's categories, sweepstakes, main area, member help, member fun, FAQ, strategy, non-chat channels. And then there's channels under those. One of the most popular areas we have is the radio sweepstakes. A lot of people like to share the radio keywords and therefore we don't miss a word. 
There is a spot for radio chat questions if you have questions on the individual one. Uh, let's talk about some basics though. Let's say, come to sweepstakes questions and you just need to ask a question. You need to ask uh, um, how many times can I enter such and such a sweep? You would do that and you would simply hit enter and it would put there. Now, granted, most of the time that's in the rules, but if you can't ask and you have a sweepstakes general question, that's what this channel is for. I can click here if I want to add a photo. I can add a uh, GIF. Um, I can add emojis to it. There's all kinds of little things I, I can do. Let's say I want to reply. I want to answer somebody's question. You know, maybe uh, this person is asking about the summer Sam and I know the answer. So I can simply click on reply and then it will reply to that person specifically. Now, I mentioned about emojis. One of the neat things about emojis on the iWing Discord is we use them to thank and congratulate people. We don't actually type out thanks or congratulate somebody every time someone posts something. Uh, a good example of this would be in the Win channel. And this is where people post the various wins that they've had. Uh, you know, for example, here's, you know, someone won NFL tickets, another person won $1,000, a hat, a $60 gift card, $250 visa. So instead of saying congrats, we have emojis and we can just click on them. We can add them. So this person won a hat. So they posted a smiley face with a hat emoji. Um, it helps keep the channels clear. Uh, it just, it's just so much simpler for everyone. One of the favorite parts people like about Discord, though, is setting up notifications. Now, if I come up to the I Win Contest part and I go to notification settings, I can set up my notifications. Now, this is on desktop and you can do it on your, on your phone as well, and I'll show you how to do that. I set it up for only mentions. That means when somebody tags me, I get a notification. You don't want everything. I'll tell you that. It will go off 24 hours a day. I do have my mobile push notifications turned on because I have it linked with my phone. And then I have specific channels that every time somebody posts in one of those channels, I get a notification. A good one is urgent sweeps. To add a channel, simply come in here and scroll down, highlight the channel that you want, and then you can turn on mentions or nothing. You can mute it if at some point you need to, but usually people, if they want it, they want all. For example, I like to enter the iHeart contest, so therefore I have those keywords sent to me automatically. So anytime somebody posts in that channel, I get a notification. If I want to reply to a member specifically, I can simply click on their name and then send them a message and it will send a private message. Private messages are going to appear up here on the top right. You, you would have notifications up there and you would click on it. Now you'll notice some of my channels are highlighted. That means that something has been added since the last time I was there. For example, the TV sweeps keywords. Notice this red line. This red line will show you every, or will show you the ending point of where you stopped last time. For example, in the Duluth, I haven't been in here since back on June 7th. So all these posts have been since. One other area to notice, this little arrow next to the categories, every now and then somebody clicks on it and it closes the category. And so somebody will message me saying all their channels have disappeared for this category. All it is is it will only show you then 
channels that have new information. To change it, just click it again, it'll reopen. Let me show you now on your phone how this would look. Maybe one second as it will share my phone. Okay, and now you see my phone. Now what we're looking for is this Discord app that looks like a gaming controller. Discord was originally designed for people talking online while playing video games, but now it's been used for so many other things and many businesses use it as well. When I open Discord, I can click on the iWin server. Now, again, I have a couple various servers, but the iWin server, and you will see, I have the categories just like normal. I mentioned about notifications. Up here are these little three dots. If you're only using a mobile device or the app, this is where you would turn on your notifications. Now you'll notice these notifications mirror what I just showed you. It's because the count is the exact same. I have mobile push notifications on, I have this all set up. Now realize that in the settings of your individual phone, you will have to grant the app Discord to give it permission to send you notifications on your phone. Discord is a hugely valuable tool that iWin has. And it's a really great community. I, I highly recommend using it. Uh, if you have additional questions on it, please ask. But the best thing to do is join Discord, look around, play with it, and just get to, get to know it and get to use it. But I am sure you'll enjoy it just as much as you enjoy being part of the iWin community. Thank you again. See you soon.